watch this. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm just going to read the Bible. And no, I'm not going to do a Bible study. I'm a Protestant, so I feel like I have a right to kind of read it myself. And I know, I'm sorry, I feel that way. <laughs> and, uh, and so I've been reading it since February, and I'm like about halfway done. And, and I haven't talked to anyone about it, and I haven't been in a, just been myself reading it. And, and I've all kind of, it's like the most interesting thing I think I've ever done. Mm. It's unbelievable. The amount of drama in those books <laughs> that has been hidden from me as a regular churchgoer in the Episcopal Church. Like, wait, why didn't you never mention this? This is like unbelievable. <laughs> what? So, watch this. But the two things I have come away with after reading the entire New Testament, and I'm up to Deuteronomy in the Old Testament, it's like maybe, watch this. But the two things I have come away with after reading the entire New Testament, and I'm up to Deuteronomy in the Old Testament, it's like maybe, Maybe we should all take just like 10 minutes a day to say a prayer about it. I'm serious. Like, why not? Jesus, love you, Jesus loves you. <clears throat> so I'm really glad Tucker Carlson is reading the Bible and praying. Like, that's amazing. That's what I've been trying to say. Like, we need to read the Bible and pray. So, um, so that's really good. Um, but... I have to say some facts, some some absolute truth. The King James, the New Test, the New Testament of the King James Version is the final authority of the final authority of the final authority. The New Testament of the King James Version is the final authority. And anything that says different than the New Testament of the King James Version is wrong. <laughs> this is this is like it's not my opinion that's fact that's truth King James Version is 100% accurate and the New Testament is the final testament and so and Jesus Jesus is Yahweh Jesus is Jehovah Jesus is the great I am the Alpha the Omega Jesus is the only God. Jesus is the only God. Jesus is the only way. So there's no like combining beliefs and religions. There's no combining it. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Jesus is Jehovah, Yahweh, God himself, the only God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are all in, in Jesus. The fullness of God is in Jesus is God. <laughs> the, fa the Father is not higher than Jesus. Jesus is the highest. There's no name given in heaven or on earth in this age or in the age to come that is higher than the name of Jesus. No name is higher than the name of Jesus. Not God the Father, not God the... God the Father and God the Holy Spirit are not above Jesus. Jesus is higher, way up, the highest name. So, um, also, okay, so it's good that he's reading the Bible and It's good that he's reading the Bible and praying. Um, but you also have to have the King James Version, the New Testament, Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only God. There's no other. It's just that simple. And also, you have to be born again. So even if you read the Bible and pray, you have to have a born-again moment where the Holy Spirit works on your heart. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. The Holy Spirit works on your heart, and you give control of your life to Jesus. You say, Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. And if it works, if it doesn't work, keep trying and praying. But if it works, your whole life changes. And you're all about Jesus. I don't care if you're a pastor or who you are, your whole life will change. So if you don't have an atom bomb moment where your whole life changed... At you gave your life to Jesus and everything is about Jesus now. You're not saved. And proof 
First of all, you have to have a born again moment. If you don't have that, you're not saved, period. Your whole life changed, Adam bomb, you gave your life to Jesus. And if you do that, your life will be marked by love, truth, love and truth, holiness, righteousness. Yeah. So coming from the inside out, because Jesus lives in you, his spirit, the Holy Spirit and your spirit are connected. So anyways, so the King James Version New Testament is the final authority, the only authority. Jesus is God. Jesus is the only God. <laughs> Jesus is the only way to heaven. And you have to be, you have to have that born again moment or you're not saved. If you're not holy, you're not saved. If you're not based on the truth of the Bible, you're not saved. If you're not loving, you're not saved. Make sure you're saved. Give your life to Jesus. And, like, make sure you're saved. Just because you read the Bible and pray doesn't make you saved. It's You need to do it so that it can lead you to, to Jesus, to salvation. So, love of Jesus loves you. Give your life to Jesus. Make sure you're saved. Love of Jesus loves you. Have a godly great day. If it's not godly, it's not great. Love of Jesus loves you, Jesus.